Koa's Backyard. Big Koa's Backyard. Hey. On Island 98.5. Not official till you hear the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Keys yeah, is in yeah. the building. How are you, my up? brother? I'm copacetic, you know. Copacetic. Yeah. We're starting off with big words today, <laughs> huh? <laughs> that's the only one I know. The rest is all like second grade level. Right. Now, that, that's like my zone right there. So we'll dip down to the second grade level for now. Uh, <laughs> I want to congratulate you, man. You have two brand new albums that are going to be dropping this Friday. Yes, sir. Two full albums. Two full, two full albums, yeah. W- what projected you to want to drop two albums at the same time? Is it? Do you just have that much uh, product? Uh, no, I was just really bored, mm-hmm, right, right. and uh, I had nothing better else to do. But uh, no, I, I've been working on this album, my solo album, for like three years now, and uh, I've just been picking and choosing what songs to you know present next. And mm-hmm. I haven't recorded an album in a while. And uh, locally here in Hawaii, I've been gigging with with my band called Jakey's Project, and we've been doing all R and B stuff and that became a thing too so we started recording and you know we didn't want to get people mixed up between what is jay keys and jay keys project so pretty much jay keys is like the reggae stuff and the project is all the r&b stuff that we perform around town you know is that your pocket the the r&b stuff is that your go-to at the end of the day um it's what i was raised Mm -hmm. playing uh more than reggae uh when i actually started playing reggae it was straight into hot rain and right and, right and playing with feed and boogie them and that was kind of like my introduction into playing re- like real reggae, mm-hmm. and uh, the yeah the boys taught me so much. I, I wouldn't consider myself. I don't even really consider myself a reggae player to this day. Y- but you're a man of all the music. That's what it is. I'm hey, trying hey, to whatever feels good. I'm just trying to learn, learn it all. Now I know you, uh, Jules Washington is in the house, man. Uh, you work a lot with Jules. Yeah, every day. Jules, talk talk about some of these projects you guys got going, man. Man, it's it's a blend. It's a lot of soul, sweat, mm. and tears, and years of just trying to learn and perfect our craft and hopefully touch some hearts along the way you know if there was anything else you could be doing in life besides producing music and living the awesome dream that you're living what would it be uh doing something else that has to do with music perfect right on man right <laughs> managing on. an artist uh, or something you know what jay uh you got this brand new album that's going to be one of these albums that's going to be dropping as right. i just fumbled dominoes all of them right here what Sorry. is this one called right here this one's called charlotte okay charlotte uh, i want to play you guys one track off of charlotte called rich kid that you guys are pushing right now tell me a little bit about this song while we play it in the background uh, this song is pretty much written for my wife, mm-hmm. and um, you oh, know, talk to me, <laughs> talk to me. Uh, it's just pretty much you know like how we may not have everything in the mm-hmm. world that we think we need or right. we want, but you know, at the end of the day, it's like the people who love you that mm-hmm. makes you rich. You know, like even being here, all these superficial things don't really mean nothing at the end of the day because it's all about your family, your loved right, right. ones, you know, your kids. So that's what it's about. Because at the end of the day, man, we're not taking none of this to the grave. So no. whatever we leave behind and whoever's with us in that circle when it's that time, man, is yeah. is where it is, bro. The only thing you take to the grave is your tattoos. That's it. <laughs> so I got to go get a couple more then, huh? I think you have uh, enough, man. <laughs> now, there's another album you're dropping on the same day as well. Uh, let's talk about that one. Let me know. Uh, this was called The Golden Age. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just a collective of musicians from here that... Uh, just pretty much vibe out you know we okay. the band itself is a very organic kind of band like we play songs that are kind of abstract not like the normal songs that people like to play or mm-hmm. r&b song that r&b songs that is but we play it different every night we play like it the song can go anywhere and we don't know where it's going right. and it's not it's not rehearsed it's not um you know okay you know what on this bar let's do this like it's just Let's go. It's just gonna I'll happen. See you at the end. Yeah. Mix it up, man. Yeah. Mix it and up. And that's what makes that band so fun. And we just came together. We recorded some songs and wrote some songs. And awesome, man. Hopefully so dope, does. bro. Uh, where can the fans go follow you at? Uh, at J Keys Music. Mm. And uh, for the project is J Keys Project. Okay. Jules, throw it out there, man. What's the handles? And I just want to say that's Keys with a Z. What is it? With an S. <laughs> J Keys. I think I'm the only J Keys that's not black. Pretty much, you might, you might. I don't know, but I'd beg to differ. But you might decline. <laughs> well, yeah, not nah. first glance, cause <laughs> <laughs> you are yeah, dark I'm pretty, individual. I, I am pretty dark, but yeah. uh, I'm not a uh, not that dark. Now these two albums dropping this Friday. I hate to ask, but is there more projects in the future? Already, you already locked on to something. We're, we're already working on the next 
both albums as we speak right now. We're just figuring out formulas and want to release and share it with everybody, you know? Awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Congratulations on, oh, uh, on the you, drops sir. of the albums, all your albums at that. Uh, thanks for bringing by the buttons and the stickers as well, man. He's oh, keeping yeah. it original over here. <laughs> uh, Jay Keys, go follow him. Follow Jules as well. Awesome producer. If you guys are looking for any of these guys, uh, they're right there online, and they'll be more than happy to probably work with you on your next project, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, appreciate it. Much love for stopping by the backyard today, man. Any shouts you guys want to give over? Got you in here? I just really like your backyard. It's oh, very lush. Thank you. Uh, I see some very indigenous trees here, and I, I think people should come and really enjoy this. Outstanding, so, uh, people Astro out there. Turf coming soon. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want, Cole. The world is your oyster, <laughs> and I want to eat it all. <laughs> he wants the pearl, man. No lie, he wants the pearl. Uh, give a shout out to all your albums, man. Let them know where they can go get them uh, when they're av- two are available already. The other yeah, one's coming out it's all on all digital platforms, Spotify, okay. iTunes, of course, and you can check out our website, SoulKidRecords.com and JKeysMusic.com. And we got uh, apparel, we got all kind of stuff, we got all kind of goodies. And Don't. we'll be bringing you some. Uh, oh, I need, I need well. a beanie, man. I need a beanie. Cover up this uh, bald head. You know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Jay Keys, Jules, thank you guys so much for stopping by, thank partners. You, thank you, thank you.